Good evening, everyone. A heated city council meeting in Grand Forks tonight. One woman was told to leave and even swore at the mayor on her way out. It came as Fu Fong made its first appearance on the agenda since clearing a major hurdle. WDAY News reporter Matt Hudson was there for the meeting. Dan and Kirsten, now that federal regulators have decided they will not stop plans to build the controversial wet corn milling plant on the city's north side, city leaders say they plan to make a lot of progress on the project between now and March. You didn't get the red light from Cephas, but by no way, no means did you get a green light. While city leaders call the project a big economic boost for the region, opponents still fear the Chinese-based company could do the exact opposite. What about the tax dollars and the revenue we'll lose when our Air Force base, our drones, our new mission leaves? Fufong, COO, was in attendance, but refused to engage with opponents. One of the initial meetings, he indicated that Fufong had zero connection to China. Is that still correct? Thank you for that answer. For the next hour, city leaders outlined key aspects of the project, which at times were met with interruptions. No, you have to stop. You've changed these things four or five times. At one point, the meeting had to be stopped due to the interruptions. As soon as the meeting resumed, one woman who claims the city is breaking the law with parts of the development agreement was told to leave. Can you please exit the council chambers this time? You are an ass. And you are a lying ass. City leaders pointed out the development agreement, which does not guarantee the plant will ever be built, has more than 100 conditions that are constantly being tracked. The final project still needs the city council's approval. The goal is to have a final building plan by the end of the year. The important part of the development agreement is we want to continue to um, make sure that we get over all the hurdles of the environmental reviews so that we can come to you before we move forward with uh, some of the detailed bidding and approvals. Now that the project seems to be full steam ahead, the City Council will receive bi-weekly reports about the project. Reporting from Grand Forks, Matt Henson, WDOI News.